Hey, I'm Laura Brody, and as promised, I'm going to talk to you about lengthening the pockets on those stupid, short, little, tiny pockets of women's pants. I work in TV film a lot lately, and one of the things I have to do all the time, which makes me bonkers, is to sew shut and cut away the pockets on women's pants. Apparently, it's more important for women's bodies to be smooth than it is for them to be allowed to own things. So this is a pair of women's jeans with the classic short pocket. So I can fit right maybe up to the tops of my fingers in here. This is definitely not going to hold even a phone. I've turned the, sh the pants inside out and you can see the pocket bag, that's what they call this area, is a very short. So I cut out or tore out another piece of fabric, chose this very festive floral just so you can see what I'm doing. That's a little bit wider than the width of the pocket, folded, plus some extra so that I have something to sew. So this will make it a nice long pocket. I could use a seam ripper and unpick the seam entirely, but for the sake of this and because it's a little bit faster, I'm actually going to just take my scissors and cut across. You can use a ruler to create a really nice straight line all the way across to, if you would like. And I'm going to just snip it right at the seam line. This area, you can unpick the entire thing, but it's a big hassle. And this way I can get into there pretty easily. So I am now unpicking with a seam ripper, this very tiny bit of stitching. I'm gonna take my fabric, fold over the edge right here, and you can iron this down or not. Right now I'm going to do a fingernail press, which is just what it sounds like. Turn it over, press it by creasing with your fingernail. So I'm going to first pin this out of the way. Lay this down on the fabric. Give myself a little bit of a tail edge for my seam allowance. And pin it. All the way around. I'm going to check periodically and go from the other side and see, okay, am I overlapping it evenly? Is it kind of messy? It doesn't really matter so much. I mean, this is going to be on the inside of your pocket. It's not like anyone's going to see it unless you really want to show it off. But it's nice to have it be kind of even because then it's going to be easier to sew and it's going to be easier to put together later. When I get to the corner, it's a little trickier, but not too bad. Then I might need to flip everything over, turn the pants around, and pin to the other side of the pocket. And then so forth until we move over to all the way across the other side of the pocket. And now it's time to sew it. Then I put it under the sewing machine, right close to the edge, and sew a straight stitch to sew that down all the way around. This is what it looks like when I am done finishing off that seam. And then the rest of this is ready to lay out flat and finish. I ironed this and trimmed down some of the edges, and now I can pin everything together and get ready to sew the rest of my new Extendo pocket bag. And just sew the rest of the pocket together. And sew a little extra right up at one little place where I snipped it near the seam. It's okay if I lose a tiny bit over there. It's not going to really impinge on my pocket, especially since I've added so much nice new room. I do turn, pivot, and sew the rest of this. I then turn the machine to zigzag and finish off my edges. I 
And now we have an extended pocket. But now it's time for the real test. I get to turn it right side round and see if I can fit something in it. Voila! My whole hand can go in there. And pens. And my scissors. Well, maybe point side up. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me. Please come back and like and subscribe if you'd like to know more. I'll talk to you later. Bye.